So first of all, my objective will be to tell what is data warehousing, what is the need of data warehousing, and what is the decision support system. After that, we should understand what is the need of ETL and what are the projects related to ETL and uh, what are the tools available in market and uh, what is the vision and executability for those tools and after that I'll come come to Informatica that how to use and uh, what is the importance of Informatica in ETL. So let's begin with data warehousing first. As we all know data uh, warehousing, warehousing means uh, we'll keep all the raw materials in some warehouse so that is a kind of, of warehouse uh, and data warehouse will be where we'll store all the data suppose we have an enterprise so we'll uh, store all the related data in that data warehouse uh, that that will be kind of central repository uh, to maintain all the data so that means we'll keep all the historical data as well as the current data in that repository what is the use of that uh, repository? We'll come to know later. It is used to store uh, raw data, which will be later converted into information and then converted into knowledge, which will enhance our business. Because of that, all the enterprises these days are very much interested to convert their historical data into some decision support system. So, what are the approaches? for uh, using this data warehousing. There are three kind of approaching approaches. One is top down approach where we'll gather all the data into one data warehouse then we'll divide it into different modules. The another is bottom up. First we'll uh, take all the data module wise and then we'll convert it into one big data warehouse. So another one is hybrid which is a mixture of both top down and bottom up and this will be relevantly used by enterprises as per their need. If they require a top down approach they'll go by the first one. If they require completely bottom up they'll go by the second one. If they require a mixture of both they'll go by the hybrid one. So that is just according to the need of the project. First we should understand what is DSS, Decision Support System. In each and every enterprise there is a top layer of management who will uh, concentrate on business and the uh, benefits and profits they are getting from their different uh, products. Just I am giving an example of uh, Samsung. Samsung is uh, creating a lot of hardware and uh, other things in market. You can, you can take example of television, you can take example of mobile sets. So there are a lot of mobiles coming in market. How they'll come to know which mobile has more sale, which is going down every day. So they should do some an analysis on that thing, right? So first of all, they should get gather the data. So from where the dat data will come. Whatever they are getting as their customers, so that data they will store in some kind of uh, warehouse. On top of that, they should um, do some analysis. So ultimately they should make some intelligent information from that raw data and then convert it into a DSS on top of which they'll be able to take some decision that which mobiles, which equipments we should take away from the market and uh, how frequently we should uh, introduce new products and everything. So they can indirectly they are increasing their business, they are increasing their profits. Directly if you will see there is no impact in any business, it's not going to increase your business in any way but indirectly if you will see it's giving you a benefit. That percentage we cannot calculate on basis of uh, just seeing the uh, data and seeing the analysis but that will ultimately impact your uh, business a lot. So we cannot do this analysis on OLTP. What is OLTP? It's just a kind of current data. It's very recent data you can say. So if you will take one month or two month data, you cannot compute all those things. You cannot take all those decisions what, whichever you want to where you are interested in. So for that you need 
historical data so for taking that uh, decision you want that historical data and you want to store that data somewhere for that we need data warehouse right so, uh, as i have shown that first we'll take this historical data just as a raw data into the database after that we'll transform the data we'll increase the quality we'll cleanse the data and like different things like you can say dates you can say other uh, columns like if it is a related to date of birth if it is related to gender so these kind of things will be not as much qualitative as we want so we need to transform that data we need to clean that data after that it will convert into information so from that information we will want to fetch some knowledge we want to take some forecasting information so that will become ultimately knowledge for us which will be useful to take some decisions which is beneficial for the business so what is the need of etl here we come to know that data warehouse is required for our business that is fine but what is the need of etl that is a major part we need to first of all understand that why the market is running behind etl as we understood that what is a data warehouse right so uh, in uh, past we have seen that there were a lot of erps in the market there were a lot of uh, databases in the market even some uh, enterprises used to take their data in uh, simple files even in excel sheets even in flat files you can say there were different type of uh, sources in market not all the enterprises were so big that they were using uh, erps like oracle apps sap jd edwards few were uh, small companies which grown to a level where now they are using data warehousing as well as erp systems but earlier they were not uh, enough capable of uh, taking all those things into their uh, mar uh, into their enterprise so they have lot of uh, data sources for them so for converting multiple data sources into single repository we need some we need some uh, structure or technology you can say and uh, to convert that data into one single repository where we can see whole data as the same structure so that we can take some uh, useful knowledge out of that so what we have to do for that there are multiple databases there are multiple data sources we need to transform that data as per our need because the data warehouse will have only one structure but we, we cannot say that same structure is there in all the databases so for that we need transformation we need to cleanse that data suppose in uh, one database as it is shown as sql server there there are data in uh, some uh, binary numbers i i can say that if we are taking a gender the male and female are represented by binary numbers so zero mean zero is uh, meant to be male and one is meant to be a female but in db2 if you will take they will take it as f and m in oracle same thing will be taken it as male or female but in data warehousing you are taking in some single pattern right but it is different in the source system so we need to convert all these data sources in a same pattern so that we cannot have uh, such discrepancies in uh, our data warehouse so for this we need to cleanse that data so increase the quality of that data so for that we need a process which is etl etl is nothing but extraction of the data from the source systems and transform that data to uh, satisfy our needs and after that to load the data into the data warehouse so what are the projects related with this etl first of all the major impact is in edw which is enterprise data warehouse there are enterprises in market they are doing data warehousing as i told you what are the major advantages of data warehousing so another kind of projects will be related to etl or data migration where we have Uh, legacy systems like mainframes and other uh, ERPs which are now out outdated in market, 
those companies wanted to shift the ERP systems from old system to new systems. For, for that they want uh, data to be migrated from old systems to new systems. For that also they want ETL as they have to extract the data, transform the data, again have to load to new systems. Data synchronizations. There are uh, multiple organizations which have which have uh, one central repositories and uh, multiple front end applications and multiple back end applications which have lot of data and they want data to be synchronized in all the applications which are not related to each other. So for that they want data synchronization and for that they need some tool which can provide them uh, same data in all the applications. For data cleansing projects there are uh, some organizations which have a uh, lot of discrepancies in data. They have old historical data you can say and um, around 40 years back or 50 years back and now there is no cleanse data. There is no readability for that. They want to cleanse the data as it is very important thing. Data is the most important thing in the market right now. Without data you cannot take any decision. So for that then they want to be cleansed. Another thing, another projects are data integrations where you want to integrate the data from uh, one application to another. So all these are just a kind of projects where you need ETL. These are the ETL tools in market which are going uh, competing with each other. As we can see the magic quadrant which, which was uh, uh, launched in July 2014. It is a leader of market. After that we can see even IBM data stage is also very near to Informatica. So a lot of companies are even uh, having data stage as ETL tool. But still it is not as simple as Informatica and uh, there are a lot of challenges while using data stage. Even I can say that there there is a performance benefit in data stage but implementing the same thing in power center and in data stage. It is very very complex in data stage as compared to power center. So a person will always prefer power center as a tool for ETL. Abinicio is also there as a market leader. Oracle has introduced new tool Oracle DI that is data in data. They have launched it from Oracle warehouse builder to Oracle data data integrator. We have one more uh, like tail end but it is a more of a coding tool as compared to GUI GUI tools like power center and data stage. SAP business object data services is another tool. SSIS is there in market. But all these have uh, different challenges, different limitations in the market but power center is still a market leader. So you cannot take power center away from the market uh, till next lot of means number of years. You can say around five to six years still power center market is growing and it is not to be seen as uh, low as other markets. So why we use Informatica? Uh, this is another question that uh, why people are going for tools? Why you cannot do it manually? As I've shown you just few slides back, you can see in this, there are multiple data sources. Uh, this is just a simple scenario where you have uh, three data vessels. But suppose if there is one enterprise, very big enterprise having multiple uh, ERP systems, you can say SAP is there. Oracle Apps is there, JD Edwards is there. They are having some uh, big backends as well in the systems. So why we need Informatica as a tool for ETL? Because ETL just is, a, is just a process. Even we can do it manually, right? You can just write a script to convert the data as per your requirement. And uh, you can directly load it through some utilities. There are uh, Oracle SQL loader utility to load the data but still why we prefer Informatica? It is just a good question for uh, a person who is going to learn ETL because a thing which can be done manually why we are spending a lot of money on a tool. So what, what would be the answer for this question? As we all know like doing a thing manually can create a lot of havoc in the process right? You can do it manually but if you want to complete the project within a time limit you need something faster right. If 
you are going to do it manually i suppose it will it would take around 3 to 4 years to complete the same project which you will be able to complete in uh, 3 to 4 of at max 5 months using a tool so for that all the companies are preferring uh, etl tools so that's why we are going for informatica power center as it is a market leader so these are the few advantages which i mentioned uh, why we will use power center like it is a market leader as i mentioned you in the previous slide is in magic quadrant they have shown informatica is the market leader right now it is very easy to implement it is a gui tool there is no need of coding in that you can just implement it if you know the logic if you know how to implement it's very easy to use you can uh, test it very easily there are multiple methods for testing the same thing you can even uh, test it manually you can even have uh, their own exception handling framework to test the same thing and uh, you can execute this complete implementation uh, in a very short span of time so there are uh, it's owned by company informatica and it is not a open source tool so there could be issues with that tool as well so for that the vendor will provide very fast resolution even in our organization we used to implement a lot of uh, new logics where we'll face some issues uh, while implementing the same uh, logics in that uh, different ways so we can contact the company they will provide the resolution as soon as possible so that is one major advantage because this is not applicable for open source tools people will think that okay there are open source tools in market we should go for that it's very cheap to use open source tools even they can provide more functionalities sometimes but if you are facing some uh, issue in the tool itself there will not be any vendor to provide the solution for that so it could be safer for using a vendor based tool rather than open source so, uh, as we can see within few uh, even uh, i can say within last five years they have released around three to four versions from uh, six they have reached 9.6.1 and uh, they are just going to release 10th version as well in um, next year next year january or this year december so they are uh, releasing lot of functionalities in every uh, version so they are just up to date with the market they're not leaving any stone unturned for creating new functionalities even they are integrating it with the uh, big data as well as we have uh, seen there is hype in market for big data so they are integrating this tool with the big data as well so that we can uh, use ETL process with the NoSQL databases as well like Cassandra is there, HBase is there, MongoDB is there so in future maybe we are we could be uh, connect these databases as well with Informatica so uh, I don't think there is any data source in the market which cannot be connected uh, via Informatica there is some uh, different tools in informatica itself like power exchange which can be used to connect uh, different ERPs, SAPs connected via power exchange even uh, mainframe files can be connected via power exchange so there is some or other alternative to connect to all the data sources 